Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Sweetly seasoned. So, whew. Now, y'all remember I did the video on Keith Lee. First, let me say this. Some of y'all acting like Keith Lee is God. Oh, you know Keith Lee and he's a prophet. Keith Lee is a man who sits in his car and eats food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he gives blessings to people, but stop acting like, stop deifying this man, okay? He just eats food. That's it. That's all. Y'all love to turn everybody into y'all's God. But anyhow, um, y'all seen the Keith Lee video I did where the lady, Sweetly Seasoned, was being put on blast because Keith Lee to told her specifically to that he's going to let them charge his card $4,000. She's to keep $2,000, give people free food, and then she's to give $1,000 to the hair braider and the barber. And she chose to keep the money to herself. So people started dragging her. She tried to come out with an explanation. But since then, she has now deleted her page. Her Instagram page. I'm so glad I downloaded the video because you know I keep receipts. I'm like, this bitch gonna delete this video in the morning. So I made sure to download it and I have her full video in full. Um, it's janky though. Like her connection was really janky. Um, but her Instagram page is gone. So let me share this tab with y'all real quick. So this was her Instagram page. Um, it's gone. So she deleted it, and from what people are telling me, so this is her website here, but what people are telling me is that when you go onto Google, her website, it says that she's closed. So she has closed down. She tried to explain herself, but it did not help. So we're gonna go ahead and watch her explanation video, and we're gonna judge it together and see, like, you know, what do y'all think of what she's trying to say? The connection is janky, though, but... Whatever. Go ahead and pull this up. So this is her, Miss Sweetly Seasoned. <laughs> hello, hello. You can always tell when folks be older. I be doing this too. We, we're always confused. When we start live streams, we are never ready to... Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> Shout out to all the millennials out there and all the Gen... Uh, what is that? Gen X. Child, we be so confused. But let's keep going. I'm waiting for more people to come in. <laughs> We gonna have to fast forward, cause she's gonna sit there for another three minutes waiting for people. Girl, you ain't got that many fans. And I'm not a thief. Okay, hold on. Go back a little bit. <sighs> okay, you guys. First of all, I wanna say I'm not a scammer. And I'm not a thief. I am. Just a person who's trying to make it every day. I want to give a shout out to my son for marketing me. Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow him, but because of him, that is the reason why Keith Lee came to visit me. Now, when I arrived that day, the only reason why Sherelle was there and I don't know her that well. I don't know her that well. The only reason why she was there is because my son asked her to be there, I guess. I don't know. And then she said that she wanted to meet Keith Lee, so she just wanted to be there. So it wasn't that she was working for me. She really just wanted to be there for Keith Lee. Um, 
but I want to give a shout out to her. Um, okay, so what? And you two and your son also wanted to be there for Keith Lee. Anyway, you know, because her and my son. Yeah, her connection is bad. Child. These, these Gen X connections. Okay, they went on Facebook Live, Instagram. I don't know what platform it was. And they were marketing me, trying to get him out there to see me. So I still want to thank her for doing that. And yes, she do deserve to be compensated for that. But she will not even talk to me about that. You know? Um, now, getting to the nitty gritty. So we all out there. And my son called this guy. I guess that's her brother. I didn't know him, never seen him, to come cut his hair. And he came out there to cut his hair. He plugged his thing into my generator, and he cut his hair. I'm in a food truck. I'm going crazy because I know he's coming. And I'm trying to get, so I'm not fully aware of what's going on outside, y'all. So next thing I know, I see a girl running. And Sherelle running, they hug, and I'm like, who, you know, who is that? Come find out she was supposed to have been braiding old girl hair. But she told her to come out there because she didn't want to miss Keith Lee. So when Keith Lee did arrive, it looked as if they were with me. And it looked as if they was doing free. First of all, why is it like... The fact that hair and food is being talked about in the same sentence, I, it's creeping me out. I don't want anybody braiding and cutting hair near food. It, like, the fact that this is even a conversation about hair and food, I, I just find it comical. This Gen X connection is making me mad. I feel like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King with so many hate calls all night long <laughs> threatening me. Y'all, the internet ain't shit. Why y'all threatening this Gen X lady with this struggle phone? Now, I know some of you guys is not going to be on my side because y'all her phone her phone keeps going out phone is going crazy I this it's been like that I'm trying to get this out I know <laughs> Some of you guys is not going to be on my side because you are very big fans of hers. I hear that she's a big TikToker. I don't know much about her. All I know is I built this business from the ground up. Me and my son. And for her to even think because she called somebody out there just to braid her hair, that she deserved a thousand dollars and try to make it seem like. Now I could see if when Keith Lee said, "Give that barber a thousand dollars for a free haircut," he should have said, "Anybody, come on, who wants their haircut for free? Come on!" Then he would have deserved it. Then that would have made him with me because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He was only solely there because my son called him to cut my hair. <laughs> Seasley season turned quite sour. <laughs> she mad about that money, boy. It was not. Right thing, and I feel like I did do the right thing. 
Now, for her, and then I told her, on top of that, I didn't even have the money. He paid with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves, and I will give her some of what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. <laughs> and he, I don't even know who he is. The barber, that's my son's head. He wasn't with me. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. <laughs> How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Stevens, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this is going to make me or break me. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is oh, here we go with the Southerners. I got God. They always want to bring up God, child. Ma'am, regardless, your son invited them to this event. He invited them to this whole Keith Lee thing. They didn't just show up on their own. Your son invited them. And from what the other girl, Sherelle, was saying is that the son invited uh, his friends because the mama needed help. And so Sherelle invited her brother so he can, you know, be attached to, you know, the viral moment. I get that. But my thing is, as an adult, like, what is the problem with looking out for your son's friends? Like, I don't, like, I guess I'm, like, confused about that. Just look out for them. They're young people. He could be out here robbing people. He could be out here jacking cars. He could be out here pimping. Instead, he's doing haircuts. Just bless that young man. That probably would have been the most money he had made that whole week. I just don't see the big deal in just saying, okay, even if he wasn't here for me or he was just trying to get some clout, it was still your son's friend. Your son invited him and Sherelle. So why not just look out for him? And Sherelle even said she didn't need the money. She was like, you can keep the money. Obviously, you need it more than I do. So she was really going to, she was really going to come out of pocket $1,000. But look how upset she's getting with this damn Gen X phone. They told me to go to school and go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to keep Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and, and just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. Okay, let me pause this real quick. Why does Keith Lee have to tell her what to do? If Keith Lee tells me to give them that money, I'll give them that money. Keith Lee initially told you to give them that money. Why does he have to reiterate that? It wasn't your money. It was his money to do what he felt necessary at that moment and to bless who he wanted to bless at that moment. Why are you so upset? Nobody should have to tell you to do the right thing. He already instructed you on what to do. You chose otherwise. Now you're saying that, now you're saying this young girl is a scammer, but she wasn't a scammer when she was in your food truck helping you. She wasn't a scammer when she called her brother down there to help and, you know, with everything going on is what kind of caught Keith, Lee, Keith Lee's eye. Yes, give and you will receive. That is true. He already told me to. He told me, yeah, he did. He said, he listen closely. Go to the video. Go to the video and listen closely to what he said. He says, give that barber the uh uh a thousand dollars for free haircuts. There was no free haircuts. My son paid him. There was no free haircuts. He wasn't even there for that. He was never there for that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? He was never there. 
Now, let me be fair. I do get her point a little bit here because Keith Lee did say, hey, here goes $1,000, give out some free haircuts. And he didn't do that. He, he wanted the money to himself and was still charging for haircuts. So he did not follow Keith Lee, you know, what, what he had asked to be done. But in the same breath, she did the same thing. Keith Lee also told her, give out free food for the rest of the day because this is more than enough money to cover, you know what I'm saying, your expenses, whatever. And Sherelle said that as soon as, <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as Keith Lee left, she started charging customers after like the third customer she was charging. So you and the barber kind of did the same thing, except he didn't get a chance to pocket his money. Y'all kept the money and neither one of y'all provided the free services that Keith Lee asked for y'all to provide. So I will acknowledge what she's saying on that part, to be fair. She frozen again? Oh, she's reading. The free food. I, that's a lie. That's a lie. I gave, I, I supposed to close at five o'clock, but Keith Lee came right before that. So, I set out to nine o'clock giving out free food to everybody. That is a lie. That is a lie. And then for, uh, for when Keith Lee did came, I don't understand why that girl jumped in the pictures when she is not a part of us. She should not have been in any of the pictures. She didn't even belong there. Oh, honey, I don't, baby, baby. Tears, I ain't trying to cry for a pity. I serve God. I serve a God, and I, I'm going to do the right thing. <laughs> All right, her phone fucking up again. I'm over this. This is I'm over her 11 minute rant. Next. All right, so y'all just heard that. Um, she has since closed down her business, so she basically messed up her own blessing. She really could have just did the right thing and took care of everybody. Her giving a thousand dollars away to that barber because she wanted to be greedy because she felt like you know she didn't need to follow what keith lee wanted and she felt that he wasn't deserving of it now this is like really messed up for her she's had to close down her business she's been harassed um and i'm sure it's probably messed up for her son because her son is also on social media and i know he was trying to build his little fan base and stuff so i'm sure that has made him look bad because he really stuck his neck out on the line for his mom. He was so proud of his mom. I just don't think this was a good look. This was a blessing for her. And for her to like squander a blessing over $1,000 is silly because she would have made that money back tenfold. She would have made that money back tenfold. We've all seen the Keith Lee effect. So she really dropped the ball with this one. Now I see a bunch of money bags in the chat. So let me scroll up. I'm sure money bag Mo is in the building. Oh my goodness. Moneybag Mo just donated $499.99. Moneybag Mo, thank you so much once again for always coming through and just showing love in my streams. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I really hope you come to my million subscriber party because I would love to meet you and just really thank you face to face because you always come out and you show love. Like I said, I don't ever ask for any super chats or anything. So anybody sending anything here, it means a lot. It, it does. Because I understand the economy's hard. People are going through it. So I appreciate everybody who just comes to my channel and supports what I do and just enjoys what I do. It means a lot to me. So thank you so much, Monique. I appreciate you, sis. She's just so sweet, I swear. So people are saying that Keith Lee responded. Um, Blatino Boy sent $10. What's up, Blatino Boy? He says, uh, ma'am, it's giving Joanne the scammer. You're a liar, a scammer, a fraud. Keith Lee gave you specific instructions with that money. And you're giving us <laughs> mush mouth excuses. <laughs> Ooh, y'all are a mess, I swear. So let's go ahead. 
Let me see. So they're saying Keith Lee just updated. Can y'all post the link so I can please post the link in the chat real quick? Uh-uh, not y'all trying to get with Monique. Tell my Monique, you like women. Uh-uh, look at all the lesbians in here. Ooh, y'all are messy. Y'all leave my woman alone. <laughs> they did the same thing to, uh, to Agent Matt when he used to be in here sending super chats. They done went and hunted him down and was asking him for money. I'm like, ooh, y'all are messy. Y'all are messy. <laughs> it's on TikTok? Okay, let me see if I can pull it up here. Keith Lee's TikTok. Give me just a second. Because I do want to know what Keith Lee got to say about all this. Okay. Okay. He has a lot of videos. Let me... Y'all gonna have to guide me because y'all not gonna be on TikTok like that. So let me remove this real quick. Um, let me pull up Keith Lee's TikTok. And let me know what video. I don't even know. Is okay, that's the is this the one? Hold on. Y'all know which one? It's the first one. Cause this one is pinned, but it says pizzeria. Look at my old ass trying to figure out TikTok. I'm like, this one is pinned. I don't know which one to click on. I'm like, really like <laughs> the fourth. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Millennials and Gen X, we be confused, child, when it comes to social media. Okay, it's this one. To be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family went in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willing, after we post the video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in the hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes that they knew each other, that they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. But then at five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up and drove. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family safety in general, I don't never carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the son is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash, however y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued, that I said and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. 
I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip, praying in advance that everybody in the situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. To be honest, there's not much to talk about. But All right. So y'all just heard what Keith Lee had to say. Let me come back on the screen here. Yeah, I find that just really, really interesting. Um, he made some good points. I don't see how they try to twist it around on Keith Lee. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how is this all of a sudden his fault or he misconstrued? We all heard what he said. He said, you keep 2000 give 1000 to the braider, give 1000 to the barber. You know, and again, if he's walking into a situation, he doesn't know these people. He's just walking into a situation. And not one person said, hey, they're not with us. They're doing their own thing. They had, you know, they were just so excited to get this money. They didn't even speak up for themselves and say who was a part of what. You know, so for her to try and turn around and for the son to try and turn around and act like, you know, we didn't have to or this is... And, and I don't even understand what the son's argument is because these were his friends that he invited. So now you're acting shady towards your friends. And I get it because his mom's being under attack and he's trying to clean up his mom's mess. The whole situation is insane. It really is. I think they were just being greedy and it blew up in their face. And like I said, all this for an additional $1,000 because the girl said you could keep my 1000 just pay my brother. All that for $1,000 just does not make any sense because she really could be receiving so many blessings right now due to this. So thank y'all for letting me know that Keith Lee finally spoke on this 32 minutes ago. The whole thing is a mess. And I'm seeing a lot of folks saying that he needs to stop going and go help black businesses. And I just hate that because, again, he helps a wide range of businesses, right? Black, white, you know, Asian, stuff like that. But um, I don't like that because of her situation. They're making it seem like, you know, all black business owners and restaurant owners, they're all shady. He's always having issues with the black businesses like in Atlanta and stuff like that. I don't think that's fair because you have a lot of people who do good business. You have a lot of black you know, entrepreneurs, restaurant owners who do good business. So it's not cool to be like, we'll just stop going to patronize black businesses. So yeah, the whole thing is just a mess. It's a mess. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.